on the 2016 Conquest 255VH. So if you want to follow me over to this side, let's we'll start over here. Okay, on this side over here, you've got some storage that goes straight through the compartment. Got a little nifty door knob there, door holder to go right through. Storage all the way through it. Aluminum siding. You got your slide out over here. City water connection. This is where you're going to hook up your water hose. Get that some pressure inside the camper. And right down here you've got your dump station. This is where you're going to dump all your tanks out. Black tank valve, gray tank valve. All you're going to do, take this cap, twist the cap off, you're going to pull your valve. Always pull the black valve first, get rid of anything that's in the toilet tank. Use your gray water to rinse your hose out right behind it. When you're all set, always be sure to put your cap right back on. Don't want it dragging on the ground. Right here you've got your cable input. If you got part cable, this is where you get a hook up. You also have a satellite dish, you can also hook up a satellite to this as well. Power cords here, it's a 30 amp service. 30 amps will run everything inside the camper. And then on each corner of the coach, you do have four stabilizer jacks. Air bumper in the back and storage in the back to hold your zero hose. All you do is just take one of your caps, pull your cap off, go ahead and put your hose in there, and you're all set to go. Six gallon water heater. This is a suburban. Drain valve is right here. Just pull that out, you get ready to drain out your water heater. This one is gas only. And then over here you've got another storage spot. Refrigerator access. Drain hose for any water that condensates inside for it to drain right out of the refrigerator. Furnace exhaust. And you do have some outlets on the outside, so you want to plug in a stereo or anything you want to use. Plug it in, you're ready to go. Final port on this side, this is where you fill your fresh water tank. Twist off the cap, put your hose inside here, and that'll fill up your onboard tank. got a folding step. First one, just going to fold them over. And then go ahead and push it all inside. Stores right there as you travel. Pull it back out, it's just a simple. Pulling it out, folding it down. And then this little nifty thing here, this is going to be your entry door holder. It's a bumper, so that way your door doesn't go slamming at the side of your coach. Well, that's basically the outside. Uh, if you like, come on and follow me. We'll go inside and we'll show you around. All right, right here on your wall here, you've got your awning switch. It's an electric awning. It runs off a of 12 volt. All you're gonna do is press and hold the extend button and watch your awning come on out. Just that simple. Following switch here is going to be for your slide out. Very easy to operate in and out. What you do is just press and hold your button until your slide out goes all the way against the wall. As soon as it hits the wall, it'll stop on its own. All right, 
and then you got a couple of switches right over here as well. These are going to be your light switch and your porch light switch. Water heater switches here. This is going to operate your water heater. All you do is just make sure you get your water heater filled. Turn your switch on. Red light comes on, let you know it's priming, getting ready to go. Light shuts off. Water heater will fire up. Just like that. Got a stereo right up here at the top. Power switch here. You have ABC switches over here, which is going to be for your speakers. You can select which ones you want to have running at one time, or you can have them all going at the same time if you like. Button A is going to work the inside. Button B is going to be the, up, the back side of your speakers for the inside as well. And if you do have outside speakers, C will operate your outside. So you can listen to the stereo as you're sitting outside at the campfire. The stereo is also a built-in DVD player, so all you do is hook up a television right over behind you. And you can watch a movie right through your radio going to your television. Microwave. You got a cook light and, and an exhaust fan. So when you're cooking, you can get all that smoke pulled out of here just by hitting your fan switch. Everything exhausts to the outside. Now you've got your stove top over here. Stove top in this model is a manual light. All you gotta do is just go ahead and turn it on. Here it says light. Take a lighter. And light up your burner. You also have adjustments for flame adjust. Go down to low, cooks at a slower pace. Oven is also a manual light. Go ahead and put your oven over to pilot. Locate your burner, which is always on the right hand side, right where the knob is going to be. Hold the lighter inside by the burner. Press and hold the switch in as you light it. Once you get your pilot lit, go ahead and hold that for approximately 10 to 20 seconds. Release your knob and go ahead and set your temperature. And then you're ready to cook. Always when you're done and not using the system, go ahead and shut it off completely by rotating your oven knob back in the off position. furnace is located underneath your stove. All your heat is going to come directly out of the front. You've got a large pantry right next to the fridge. Store all your canned goods. You do have also a removable shelf in the center. So if you've got that extra longer, bigger items you want to put in, you really want to stock it up, go ahead and take that shelf right on out. And then down here you do have your fuse box. 110 circuit breakers here with everything labeled right there for you. You also have your 12 volt fuses. Everything is also labeled on the side. The gas electric refrigerator. Everything on this is already set to temperature. There's no adjustment. All you do is turn it on and you're ready to go. Off and on switch right there. Go ahead and press that in. Let it cool down. Approximately 6 to 10 hours. Always plug it in overnight. Do not put anything inside the fridge or the freezer until the boxes are cold. This is the inside of your freezer here. Fairly large box. Some storage in your door as well. And the inside of your refrigerator.
two bunk beds on the top. And those extra passengers come along with you. Then right through this door here, we have your bathroom. Your toilet. It's going to be a floor flush. Your pedal's right in the center. Whenever you want to add water to your bowl, go ahead and hold that pedal down halfway. To flush it completely, go all the way down to the ground. Monitor panel is located right above your bathroom sink. Water pump switch, so when you have that onboard water tank filled, you want water pressure, go ahead and turn that switch on. There's an on-demand water pump, so as you use your faucet, you'll have water coming out with good pressure. You'll be pulling out approximately 2.6 gallons per minute, so you should never have a problem with water flow. Battery indicator here, so you know what your battery's looking like. Fresh water tank monitor tells you how full your fresh water is by third increments. You also have your gray water and your black water. That tells you how exactly how full your tanks are. Domestic thermostat for your air conditioner and your furnace. Simple one button operation. All you gotta do is go ahead and hit your mode button here. Whichever your green light is on, that's the function that you're gonna be using. Fan is just gonna be for the AC fan on top, just to circulate air. Bring it to cool, that's what's going to operate your air conditioner to bring cold air down inside. And then you get your furnace. Temperature controls are right here right on the side, plus and minus. Hit that button to the desired temperature you would like to have. Press the button on again until it goes on to mode. And that will shut down your system. GFI outlet right over top of that sink. Medicine cabinet with a mirror. And additional light above it so you can see what you're doing. Alright, now you got your dinette booth sitting right here. You can also use this as another bed as well. To break it down, what you want to do. Go ahead and take your tabletop. You're gonna grab it from each side. Go ahead and pull it up. Remove the tabletop from the legs. Take your poles right out of the holders. And go ahead and lay them on the ground or store them wherever you like. Your table is gonna sit between your dinettes right on top of these supports. Take your tabletop, put that right in between. Go ahead and move your cushions in. And now you've got an extra bed. For your relaxing area, you get your small couch right here, which also turns into a bed. This is called a jackknife. What you want to do is just take and pick up the bottom cushion. Lift it up, pull it straight out. Now you've got another small sleeping area. To put it back up in the couch position, just lift up that cushion. You're going to push it back, grab a hold of the back of it, and you're just going to push and pull to bring it back in seating. Right over here is where your television is going to be mounted, right against the wall. You can fit approximately a 24 to 32 inch television in this spot. RCA jacks, which already ran to your stereo, for your DVD players. Plug them into your TV, use the color code on it, and you're ready to go. Television antenna boosters here. Got your little red button. You're going to push that button until the red light comes on. 
That will amplify your signal to bring in that over the air reception for local television. Whenever you're not using it, go ahead and just hit that button one more time and it shuts it down. Coax cable from your TV is going to go right to that port here. The other side is going to be in the back of your television. Large storage right underneath. And then right through here, we're going to go through your bedroom. Okay, right, back in your bedroom over here, you've got your closet. Nice large space, access panel, compartment door on the outside so you can access anything that's in the closet from outside as well. A little storage spot right up at the top. And then for additional storage, you've got some underneath your bed. Go ahead and lift up your mattress. Grab a hold of that plywood that's underneath. Lift it up. It's got a shock underneath there. So it'll help hold that bed up as you put more stuff underneath your bed. And for a little bit of decorating, you do have a little shelf up there at the top. It goes across the whole side of the camper. Go ahead and throw whatever you need up there. Make it look a little bit more nice. Well, that is actually going to be our, our last stop inside this camper. Thank you for taking some time with us today. Um, go ahead and enjoy your new purchase and hope you like it.